Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We're talking grazing management today and how to get the most out of your pasture regardless of how much rain we've gotten in Oklahoma. We're joined by Alex Roccatelli, our forage system specialist here at Oklahoma State, about the Oklahoma grazing stick and how all of that works. And Alex, let's kind of start with the basics and why it's important to take measurements in your pasture each and every year. Well, as we know, every year the weather changes, right? We have more or less rain. So that's why I recommend that always we measure every year our pasture because the forage amount that's going to be produced will change year to year. So if you keep your same herd every year, regardless checking the weather and how much forage you produce, you can undergraze and overgraze your pasture. So that's why I recommend that you measure every year. Talk about the science of what happens in the pasture if you overgraze and then also what happens if you undergraze. It can really change a lot of things. Exactly. Well, we don't want both of them because when you overgraze and that's the worst situation that we can have, Year after year, you can have your pasture completely depleted and you need to come with your new pasture again by receding or sprigging for its back. Now, when you undergraze, what happens is you are losing profit because you could put more cattle there and make more money. Because when we undergraze, actually, we are creating a lot of biomass at the top of the, the, the field that will not allow new growth. So in this case, we need to mow or, or burn the field in order to decrease that biomass. So in both situations, you can see that we have a loss. So that's why we need to sink or herd with the amount of forage that we are being producing. So to help producers figure all this out, you and the team have some tools including the Oklahoma grazing stick and the, the complimentary app. So tell us all about those. All right. So that's the Oklahoma grazing stick. As you can see here, it's pretty simple. If you look, it's a yardstick with some tables and formulas that we have. That is an indirect method to measure footage. Uh, the most accurate method would be come here and clip samples, dry samples, but this will take time, is labor intense. So we come with the grazing stick. That's not something new. The grazing stick is there for a long time, exactly to make our life easier. So with the grazing stick, what we need to do is to measure our plant height and canopy cover. And with that, we go through formulas and tables, as I mentioned, and we come with the amount of forage that can that we have in the field and also how many animals we can place in the field based on this estimation. And you and the team here at OSU have developed an app to work with the grazing stick? Right, that's true. That's the Graze OK app. The idea of the app, it's pretty simple. Instead of we stay under the sun doing all this calculation and looking through those little tables, what we do is we do the measurement, we input those measurements in the phone, in the app, and after we just select and describe our pasture in the app and that will bring to us all the calculation. So it's just to make our life easier. That's what the app is. Give us an example of some of the basic measurements you would take and then put into the phone. Right. First, Linda, I would like to say, before even taking the measurements, it's very important that we account all the variability of the field. For instance, I would call this a Bermuda grass pasture, but you can see that we have some Johnson grass there and even other forage coming. So once we have a variability in the field, just one measurement or pair of measurement will not be enough. What we need to do actually is take several measurements. I would say take from 15 to 30 measurements. And when I talk take measurements, in each spot you are going to take two types of measurement. The first one is plant height. So to take plant height, pretty much you find a spot that represents your field. And so you are going to not, you are going to measure the average height of leaves. As you can see, I'm pressing my hand down and when I feel a little resistance uh, that, that the leaves make against my hand, this is where I'm going to do the reading. Like here I would say five inches. Never take the highest leaf or also if you have a place that's trampled, don't take measurements there. So that is the most important first measurement. The second one would be grazing cover. It's a little more tricky how to do that. We are trying to improve and make that easier, but that's how it is now. So you just stick the grazing stick under the canopy 
And what you are going to do is just stand in front of the grazing stick. And I would say that you're going to look from mark inch 1 to mark inch 33 and see which one of them are covered less than 25%. If they're covered in less than 25%, within that inch you're going to count. So here, for instance, I would say that we have four. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 33 minus four. In this case, we are going to have 29. And if you multiply that by 33, we are going to have or cannot cover in percentage. That's pretty much. And last but not least, you and the team are organizing a field day uh, in a couple of weeks to look at summer forages, have people out and, and talk about some of the latest research and extension work. Tell us about that. Exactly right. I'm very excited about that because it's my first field day actually here in Oklahoma. This is going to be in Chickasha in the South Central Experimental Station. We are doing that in collaboration with the educators of the Southwest where we are going to be showing TEF management. We have demonstration plots and also research plots on Bermuda grasses, different types of Bermuda grass, on sorghum sudans, on per millets. We are going to talk about also some uh, sugar cane aphids problem when we are producing hay with those fodders. Terrific, Alex, thanks a lot. And for more information on the fact sheet that Alex mentioned, as well as that upcoming field day, and some how-to videos on the Oklahoma grazing stick, go to sunup.okstate.edu.